Master, the princess is in danger, the butler screams, running up the stairs to your quarters. Word has it that the dragon of puzzles has her, and will kill her if you don't save her and answer his riddles. Hurry, time is running out. You quickly run down the stairs out your castle. Jump on your horse and start the journey to the dragon's castle. After correctly answering a troll's riddle about which way to go at a fork in the road, getting out of quicksand in the nick of time and hiking 20 miles to Rurik's palace, you are finally presented with your last riddle to rescue the beloved princess of Konigsberg. You, Prince knows a lot, are approaching the castle when your horse anxiously neighs. You then notice there is an enormous moat surrounding the castle. There are four bridges crossing the moat, making it look like a bicycle tire from a bird's eye view. And at the end of each bridge, there's a gate. You also become aware of a gargantuan dragon perched at the top of the castle, right above the princess's quarters. He states, I have the princess, and the only way to get her back is to prove this hypothesis, opening the least amount of gates while proving it. The gate with an even number must be read on the other side. The dragon is arrogant and thinks he is the smartest being in all of Konigsberg. Therefore, he will only admit defeat to people that are smarter than him. You notice there's a red gate, a green gate, a gate with a seven, a gate, and a gate with a four. How many gates do you have to pick to prove this theory? Which gate do you choose? To prove this theory, you only have to check one gate, the gate with a 4 on it. The gate with a 4 must be read on the other side, as the dragon's hypothesis states. The odd-numbered gate can have green or red on the other end, because the dragon does not talk about odd numbers. The green color gate can have an even or odd number on the other end because the dragon does not talk about the color green. The red gate can have an even or odd number on the other end because the dragon's hypothesis is about an even numbered gate, not a red gate. Due to all of this, you choose the gate with a four on it and the cruel dragon should hand over the princess to you, if he keeps his word.